Well, there's a squash vine beetle laying its eggs. First time I've ever seen them actually laying them. Normally she would be uh, running off if I was this close. And those little eggs, this is duct tape rolled around backwards so the sticky side's out. And my bride walked down through in front of me pointing them out. And I picked them off the leaf. Now in the old days this glue was a little better and it would just pick all of them off and not uh, take any leaf with it. But see those right there and those right there? I will just touch that with that duct tape and they'll stick to this and once you get all of them uh, you just fold it over and they can't get out there's another one on that leaf laying eggs now, I have never seen one lay eggs let's see every one of those will be a nymph they'll hide under the leaves and eat a, and damage your plant there's some more right there As I come down there, see that's a few laid. Usually it's a lot bigger cluster than that. So maybe they're being impinged a little bit. I'll put some BT on these when I put it on the beans. It should be a bigger cluster. And sometimes they're under the leaf. Now you can use a flashlight at night or, or get the sun, sun shining on the leaves. See how translucent they are? See those eggs laying? on that leaf or that bug laying the eggs so you can see it with the light on the other side of it we can come out at night and hold the flashlight underneath them and see where they are you can spray them because the nymphs after they hatch out they hide under the leaves and they usually like to hide down in the bottom but they will hide under the leaves until they get hard shelled and see there's some more they're very Small egg clusters. It's not going to take a lot to pick those off. And I'd show you how I did it on the camera, but it's hard to do without a tripod. Same leaf with that uh, where the eggs were, and see how they're stuck to the duct tape. I switch the camera to my left hand because I am right handed. And here's some more. You see where they were? It did take a little piece of the leaf. And that's all the eggs. And there's another one laying eggs. You see the eggs? Sun shining out here. Let me turn around. And that's all the eggs. It took all of about four or five minutes. And then I fold the end of the tape over so I can pull it apart. Or you can just fold it over and put more tape over it and when you throw it in the trash can there's no way they can get out. Normally I like to have it folded on both ends and pull it apart and just stick it sticky side to sticky side and they're all done. But just keep your eyes out. I mean I've been gardening a long time. It's the first time I've seen them laying the eggs and I've seen three laying the eggs just in this row of squash. The beans are absolutely gorgeous, but there's not a single flower on them. I looked up a video last year, and we harvested uh, beans, I think, the 1st of August, 5th or 6th or something. And we planted these actually about the same time, and I don't see a single flower. Hopefully they'll be coming. Well, here's my... Uh, Squash bugs encapsulated in duct tape. And I'm down here watering. It's uh, Wednesday. And uh, we'll be back uh, Friday night. So I had to water and I picked a few squash, a few more tomatoes. I haven't picked the uh, sweet millions yet. And I uh, picked some cukes. And if you ever have your cucumbers do that and it's not late in the season, that's a sign that they didn't get enough water at the right time when they were growing. Because See, the others are full size, so for some reason they got the water, and those didn't. So when you see that, just make sure. It might be one section that we irrigate. Sometimes you get a few of them uh, stopped up a little bit, and they don't get all the water. And uh, late in the season it'll do this, but uh, right now it uh, shouldn't be doing this if it got enough water. And I'm going to show you another tip. See that dead vine on this cucumber plant? I don't know what killed it, why it died, whether it got less water, whether it's got disease, it's probably got disease. And you need to go in there and pull that up by the roots 
And if you grow it on fences, it's a little tangled up. And just snip it two or three places to where you can cleanly take it out without breaking anything else off. And there's another one there wilting. It could be from lack of water or it could be getting a disease. You don't want it to spread. So remove it from the garden, roots and all, every leaf. And that's one I pulled right up here on this end. And I've got to get in here and pull this one out. And there's another one there. And it's all doing it on the Divas. It's not doing it on the Market Moors and it's not doing it on the Calypsos. And the Divas are just not setting fruit. But uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, maybe they're a little more susceptible to a disease that I might have in my garden. Well, I pulled all the bad kicks out. And it certainly wasn't because of lack of root. Enough root on it. Nothing's really got in it. People, nothing fools with cucumbers. You don't have borers. Who knows? And remember, you never put diseased plants in your compost pile. These go in a trash can. You can't even put them in a plastic container and let the sun try to kill them and kill the disease because it won't. You don't want to take the chance. Put it in your trash. And my pruning snippers that I cut this off with I will soak in a 10% belize solution or wipe it down with alcohol on the blades so if I happen to cut something off somewhere else it won't transfer the disease well last uh, Monday the wind was so bad it knocked all the squash down you can see how it's recovered and my corn was knocked down pretty good and most of it's righted itself there's a couple in there we might have to give a little help I pulled that one up and pulled some soil to it. Uh, the rest of them have write it on their own. Generally they'll do it. Because you know in a big cornfield they'll generally write it. And I've seen them grow to where they come out of the ground on an angle, crooked. Well my beans are going to make some beans. It's just behind. Now we're in this cool down period again for several days. I mean you're not, I'm not sweating at all out here today. It's just comfortable. But uh, these like them hot. And uh, that's probably why we had one a slowdown before. And see, we, we're getting the fl flowers hard. I just haven't seen any open yet. Just got to get back to hot again.